one year officially it has been one year of this channel I mean this is some of the screenshots after the milestones 120 there then when I got over 130 136 I mean 150 I mean I'm just very appreciative of all the support I've gotten and then now I'm at 160 might be a little over now I'm not sure but you guys you said you wanted like a setup tour so that's what you're gonna get so this right here is the arena you all know and love it's an arena that is way better than my old plane one I used to have also this recording is not live of my voice but yes there is the uh, the stage I can think what I'm trying to say yes the stage which is made out of a big paper I got like my parents brought home one day which is really cool and then you know I added wrestlers to the crowd the ambulance over there and with the wrestlers in the crowd it makes the arena just look much more better like because even in takeover Miami I did it and then here when I'm trying to get on the table I knocked everybody over which was just very unfortunate but yeah but then the announce table I just took a piece of cardboard I got I don't even know what it's from but then I rubber band you know drew on it rubber banded to the actual tabletop so yeah that looks cool you know I have the commentators there then these backgrounds I got from the back of like some Zephyr Hills waters or the bottom of them so yeah that looks cool you know kind of messed up on the top one over there on the W but it's fine and then you know got the logos for Rampage of Starstruck and you know hand drew everything in this arena I actually didn't print anything out or anything like that like most people do you know I just love having this arena because it looks different from like anybody else's like nobody else's arena really you know looks like this and you know the crowd over here which I added a couple people you might realize you know got some kids or you know I guess <laughs> Warren Schwag was a kid I mean pretty much and we have Sin Cara in the crowd you know one of his horns are falling off that's why he's in there we got some other figures RVD he doesn't have a ponytail you know lots of the broken people Victor doesn't have his ponytail are in here but you know it works though good crowd got some more kids <laughs> the pop-up crowds which like are so fire I love having these things so yeah you know like I said love having those things pretty dusty I gotta clean it off and then I just added these things recently that I got in the back of a box I used so much cardboard it's crazy so yeah I did that you know just the designs all the stars you know just normal SSW logos and stuff but uh yeah like the arena I mean I just I love the arena <laughs> it used to look so plain just to think now this is this is much better I got these things you know they come in the back of wrestlers what I used to, I haven't even seen them in a while, but, you know, I have that for the crowd. But, uh, yeah, there's that. Let me fix this, <laughs> the crowd over here. Let me fix that. I did. This is another video. And those cinder blocks over there, too. Or some, like, more realistic cinder blocks than the ones that came with the, the One Elite Rollins. You know, the plastic ones, so, like, those are cool. They're actually made of real concrete. But, uh, hold up, here's a fire camera angle. You know... Just gotta get the whole look of the arena. I mean, I just, I really like looking at this arena. You know, I did the ambulance over there too, you know, a little just, in you know, one of those areas that kind of leads to backstage. And then, you know, just got everything, got our talking referee, which is pretty cool. That I use for sounds a lot too. And actually, you see that black thing behind the, uh, that's actually behind the stage. You see that thing to the left there? There's the other one. But that's another black thing I glued a piece of, or I glued, like, a sticker on there. So it makes it, you know, creates a look of, like, actually coming out of an entranceway, which, you know, looks pretty cool. Pretty much what I did for TakeOver Miami. And here, I'll show you some other stuff, like, some of my materials. This is where I keep everything, like, my hands, cage pieces. And uh, what gloves, all that stuff, armbands, tacks, uh, you know, any little things I need. There, that creeper there is for a Firefly Funhouse. And those are my titles that I use in custom, you know, custom made. Just all the stuff I need, head sculpts, everything. And this is what I use pretty much as a tripod. This Minecraft stand I got actually with a stop motion set. 
My string and scissors. Yes, those are gross scissors. Please ignore it. And yeah, I got the two shoe boxes. Use them all the time. And this is where I keep all the wrestlers. This is a drawer. It's like I organize them. This is like everybody that came from NXT, pretty much. So yeah, like you know, Street Profits. I'm just that everybody's gonna be in there. Even you know, Lone Wolf Corbin. This is where I keep my props, all the accessories and weapons and stuff. And you know, just a random drawer there. This is another drawer of other guys, and like I have them organized in some way so like all the same wrestlers are pretty much you know with each other. Got more there. The lighting is really bad, I know. You can't really see everything. But uh, what? And super dark, but yes, that's Illumination Chamber over there, which I used before, I think, one time. And, uh, you know, what? It was in Redemption Part 1, actually. Check that out. Yes, Insanity is coming soon. I have them all done and edited and everything, so it's just when I release them, when I feel like doing that. So they're all done. And here's the cage. I have two. That other cage at the bottom is for the Elite Scale Ring. And then the other cage, you got the Wreck and Slam one, which is pretty cool. I like them both. Can't really use the Elite Scale one because I don't have that, uh, the, uh, the authentic ring anymore. But I use the Wreck and one. And it, it could be cool for Hell in a Cell. Yeah, here's a quick disclaimer. Yeah, these are really old animations. They are really bad, stiff. The lighting looks terrible. Editing is pretty bad. Just leave now. Decent fails that I don't have audio for, but yeah, here I had really stiff, and the running was pretty bad, honestly too. Her knees are really hard to bend, and then the running here is not good, and it's just too fast. And yeah, I didn't like that. And then here the claymore, like the beginning was pretty nice, and also a new crowd over there. I don't know, the camera cut on the claymore didn't look too good, and I didn't like the camera cut. And this Hurricane Rana, it was just a fail. And this is some other stuff from actually the war games that I have. Like, because it's, a, you know, the Wreck and Slam cage. And that's just when I play all my figures and, you know, have them set up for those pictures. This is where I write everything for my notes and stuff. You know, when I'm planning stuff out in stories and matches. And here are some shoutouts, ARW. He's helped me get a lot better. And, you know, I appreciate all the support. JMG, you know, a lot of support from him as well. Really underrated too. LMS, hope you can get to 500 subscribers. Trying to see a match from him forever. And I've gotten a lot better because of him. JLW, super underrated. Like, ridiculously underrated. BWW, you know, always with the support. Always with fire videos. Go subscribe to him. KWS, my longest supporter, like since I had like 10 subscribers, he was, you know, watching. So yeah, big shout out there. ESP, I've gotten a lot better because of him. And you know, WAF and all that stuff, like, yeah. And then, can never pronounce the name, I'm gonna just say Fruit Wrestling. Gives me a lot of support. Shout out to him. Stop Motion Entertainment, I don't know why they went so fast. But there's Camo Live too, they both, shout outs there. All the support, and then Matt Powell in the era, he shows a lot of support as well, all the time. So yeah, I appreciate that. 
And here are my logos, this is where I make them. Here's just a couple. And then, you know, some you haven't seen. But yeah, those are pretty much my favorite views. Now, here is going to be an AEW match that you guys did not even know existed. This is a match I was going to release. I mean, I'm releasing it now, but I don't know if I'll actually make this a series. It's a similar style of WSC. But I don't know if I'm really going to be doing this that much. At, like, really at all. Just because, you know, I have other stuff to keep up with. Just other stuff in life and then, you know, SSW. It just, it's too much work. I don't even feel like doing stop motion at the time. So this stuff took a lot of work. But I hope you guys enjoy it. EJ Black and Pat for the TNT Championship. And I'm probably going to commentate it over it right now. Because I actually don't have commentary for it. Like, yeah, all the sounds are in, but I'll do the commentary, I guess, right now. And now here comes the Darewolf, PJ Black. What is set to be an incredible match between two amazing athletes. And even there, PJ Black showcasing some of that great athleticism he possesses. Oh, wait a minute. Pack is in the ring. Oh my god! From behind! Pack with a cheap shot! And he's not gonna let PJ Black get a moment here! He's just stomping him! The referee trying to get in between these two. Oh, come on! Oh no! Oh no! Standing shooting star press! What a beauty! There by Pack! And now a drop kick by Pack! Sends PJ into the corner. Out of the outside, Pack. He, what does he got set up here? Tope Suicida, right under the barricade. You know, back into the ring. Pack top ropes. He went for the Swanton, but Pack had the knees up, or Black had the knees up. These two names. It's not PJ Black. Over Canadian Destroyer, right on the top of his head. Back into the ring. This will be exactly what PJ needs here. Springboarding. Oh, he's caught with a super kick. Right to the jaw. PJ Black could be in trouble. Pack into the cover. Two. In a kick out at two. You know, look at this. Look at this. Right into the brutalizer. Can he get it in? No, PJ gets to the ropes just in the nick of time. What else is Pack have planned here? Running and out. Oh my god! A standing C4! What a counter there by Black! This is the TNT Championships on the line. Both men trading rights. Oh! Big knee! Off the ropes. Pack spinning a discus forearm! Looking for a cutter! BJ one of the ropes. Poison Rana! Pacto, one of his own! Poison Rana of his own! Good God Almighty! Pack with a Poison Rana of his own! And a drop kick again by Pack! What a battle we have here! This is incredible! Oh my God! This never ends well! Pack's got a table set up on the outside! I mean, it won't be a disqualification technically. It's packed with a <gasps> wide noise. Wide noise through the table. From the second rope. Both men down and out. Down for the count. This may be it. That took a lot out of both competitors here. The coveted TNT Championship on the line. AEW, this is what it is all about. Can they make it in the ring? And they do. They do just... In the nick of time, I say once again. And now what? Open. Back of the feet. Super kick right to the jaw. DJ Black. Springboarding. Moon Soul. Wow, what a beauty. Into the cover. Two kill. No. Pack. Kicks out at two. Look at this. Into the brutalizer again. Brutalizer again. PJ's got a tap here. He's got a tap. But he rolls it over. Modified One, crucifix pin two. into the cover. Black and his foot was on the rope. 
Pack's foot was on the rope as now PJ Black. Topanga Hilo to the outside. The TNT Championship on the line. What a battle this has been. Uh-oh, is he heading up top for that patented 450 splash? He hits this, it's over. He hits this, it is over. Setting it up, 450 splash. One, the two, three, two, three. PJ Black is the new TNT champion. Oh my God, hopefully this is not the last we see of AEW here. Because that was incredible. PJ Black is the TNT champion. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. That was incredible. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Ugh, enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, just want to thank you for all the support I've gotten. I cannot believe I ever got over 100. I was... Really happy when I got over 50, but to be over 160 is just, I mean, it's incredible. It, it's just crazy, really. I want to thank everybody for the support. You know, I've always wanted to have a channel, like, you know, a stop motion channel. Ever since watching when I was really little, when I was like 10 years old, you know, just a big time or long time WWE fan. So many wrestlers, you know, might as well do something with it besides, you know, play with them, you know, got the, you know, just stop motion. I want to appreciate all the people, you know, that have helped me get a lot, you know, a lot better. And I mean, yeah, I mean, not, not even much else I can say, just besides, thanks for all the support, you know, only more to come. Insanity's coming, you know, like I said, it's fully edited, the entire show is fully done. Uh, commentary, everything is done. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. 160 subs, let's go.